We need to follow a few steps in the Spring Boot application generated to render the JSP views. The first step is we, need, we, we will see that web app and web INF folder is missing in the project directory. So we need to manually create it. So we need to follow the order of web app, then web INF, and then the views. So if you are following the IntelliJ, the web functionality, web uh, features, you can enable just going into the project structure and then the in the modules you need to select this web and the web resource directory you need to you need to uh, you need to map it to uh, until that web, web app then path relative to the deployment route you can place at a slash so this uh, once you set it as click ok then the second step is the, the index JSP files or whatever JSP files you can place it over here. And the second step is in the application.yml or application.properties whichever you are using. Uh, you need to place you are using the JSP views. In my case I am using the YAML file. I placed as spring mvc view and the prefix I follow about web INF slash views and the suffix as dot jsp so you need to follow this appropriate format this is a snippet uh, in the application of properties if you are using that in your project and this is a, as the final step is in the pom.xml file you need to add the jasper dependency this does, does jasper dependency is uh, tomcat embed tomcat embed jasper so this al allows the tomcat uh, jsp files loading into the into the application so once we have everything is ready and the final step is you need to create the controller class so i created a city controller here and annotated with just a controller and the get mappings as slash home the file name is city controller. So we just summarize one is the changes uh, in the uh, application.yml and the second one is the web app folder needs to be created and the third one is form.xml change. The dependency need to be added. Then the finally is the controller creation. So if you follow this thing and then just run that. Okay. and we need we know that in the slash home is the location we can just create a we can just access that local host uh, 8080 slash home so this will show the file the command is mentioned over in the in the JSP file JSP file test so let's see how the JSP looks like so this is just printing something here so i added spring boot with intellij and just control save and refresh it so you can see that uh, is loading from that jsp file